Hello students this is Mandeep Kaur and today we'll start with the chapter 17 that is calamity so what is calamity calamity it is a sudden accident or a natural catastrophe that causes a great damage to property and loss of life is called a calamity or we can say a disaster for example earthquake tsunami flood cyclone all these are some of the natural disaster first of all we will study about the earthquake disaster a sudden violent shaking of the ground is called an earthquake there are plates or blocks under the surface of the earth that keep moving or shifting on these plates lie the continent the ocean when these plates collide or slip over one another there is a sudden release of energy which causes an earthquake so it is very difficult to predict and impossible to stop because all these are natural so the tremor of the earthquake shakes the building houses some building collapse also many people become homeless in hilly areas earthquake can cause landslide so depending on the magnitude of the earthquake bridges and dams too can crack or cr- collapse which in turn causes flood earthquake also causes loss of electricity and breakdown of communication so a seismometer is an instrument which is used to measure what is the intensity of an earthquake so during an earthquake we should try to stay calm and not panic during an earthquake we should try to move in an open area that is away from buildings trees and electric poles in case we cannot get out of the house we should move under we should hide ourselves under a heavy table or bed that can protect us from falling rubble next is tsunami tsunamis are giant ocean waves that are caused by severe earthquake or volcanic eruption that occur under the ocean huge waves you can see in the picture huge waves of massive force lash the coastal areas causing damage to life and property in 2004 a huge tsunami hit the coast of tamil nadu causing immense destruction and loss of life so it was caused by a massive earthquake that originated deep under the indian ocean resulting in tsunami waves that affect not just india but also other countries located of the indian ocean so indra point the southernmost point of india was was submerged due to tsunami next flood heavy rainfall causes the water in the rivers to overflow and breach the river banks this overflow of water causes floods submerging roads roads are submerged sometimes bridges are also washed away communication becomes difficult crops are destroyed people and animals die due to drowning diseases spread due to contamination caused by flood water in 2014 jammu and kashmir faced severe flood so many villages were submerged in two th- uh, 2018 in august kerala faced one of the worst flood of recent time so the flood was caused due to unusually high monsoon rainfall in the state so during and uh, during a flood we should try to move to a higher areas like roof of a building or even tree tops in case of a flood warning we should spread the message so that everyone can prepare for safety measures or an evacuation we should keep an emergency kit with medicines in a waterproof bag with clothes food should be there bottled water should be there we should only drink boiled or bottled water next cyclone 
Cyclone are the violent storm that cause strong winds and heavy rainfall. The force and speed of the wind can uproot the trees and electric poles and it can also damage buildings and bridges. The heavy rainfall also causes floods and it can destroy crops also. So Cyclone Oki hit the coastal areas of Kerala in 2017 putting the lives of hundreds of fishermen in danger and causing great damage to property and life. So, in the event of a cyclone or a tsunami, we should move to high areas or stay indoors. An emergency kit, first aid box should also be there. Medicines, torch, batteries, it should be kept ready at all the times. Next, managing disasters. Note that disaster can cause mental and physical trauma to survivors. Many people lost their life, property, loss of da damaged property. People who survive disaster often face loss of family members. At such time, help from the community is important. Rescuing people buried under the collapsed building, setting up emergency relief shelter and camps, providing food, providing first aid, providing clean drinking water to them, they are needed so many government and non-government organizations some charitable groups help people that are affected by a disaster so citizens too help by donating money food medicines and other necessary materials which are required at that time they also help by donating the blood Emergency services are also provided by the police, the fire department, hospitals and even the army officers. Apart from these agencies, the army also engage in rescue and relief operation. They also clear the rubble from the roads and they distribute the food and medicines. So, we can also help. Here are some of the ways which we can help others before during and after a disaster collect clothes medicines and other items as required for the people trap in affected areas remind people to take cover under a heavy tables to move to an open area during earthquake we should keep medicine torch candle blanket in an emergency bag we should not panic at that time when a disaster comes we should stay calm so call a doctor in case of an emergency. When calling for medical help, be sure to provide clear information and exact location. Give first aid to the injured person. Next, providing first aid. First aid should be immediately provided to the injured person before a medical uh, or doctor arrives. If given on time, it can prevent the injured person condition from becoming, becoming worse can save his or her life cuts and wounds we should first wash our hands with soap and water then we can clean the bleeding wound with an antiseptic lotion and cover it with a medicated tape in case the blood flow flow is still heavy we should raise the wounded body part above the level of the heart to slow down the blood flow from the wound next fracture it is a broken bone so we must remember not to move the broken part of the body only attach gently attach a splint to support the broken bone and prevent its movement a splint can be made from a long piece of wood a cardboard or a measuring scale or even a folded newspaper in case of a fracture in an arm, after tying the splint, we can put the arm in a sling for support. The patient should be taken to a doctor immediately. Sprain. A sprain is an injury caused by sudden twisting of a joint. It can cause pain or swelling in that area. We should use an ice pack on the sprain to reduce the swelling. A pain relieving ointment should be applied on the injury and a cream bandage should be tied around the sprain area 
to prevent the movement of the joint next fainting a person who has fainted should be laid down on his or her back in case there are no injuries and the person is breathing we should raise his or her leg above the heart level we should loosen the collar belts or any tight clothing that the person may be wearing at that time people sh- should no- not crowd around the person so that he or she gets enough air enough oxygen to breathe next it is important to have a first aid kit with essential me- medicine the essential medical items for treatment common injuries such as wound fracture and sprain we should also always carry a first aid kit with us with essential medicines while traveling so this is all about this chapter till then bye bye